So the PATH Act stands for Protecting Americans Against Tax Hikes. It was passed last year about this time and it's meant to combat tax identity theft. So the big provision that people are really going to see this year is that the IRS is required to hold refunds until February 15th for earned income tax credit or the additional child tax credit. Well, there's about 30 million Americans who claim this credit, so it's going to impact a lot of people with a refund delay. What we would say is that you still want to go ahead and file as you normally would, don't wait, and the IRS does expect to issue the majority of its refunds within 21 days. There are so many things that people can do to protect their information, and a few of those are things like, if you file your tax return early, that way you've locked in your return and somebody else can't come in and steal your refund. Um, second, manage your, social, or manage your passwords. So that's things like using a strong password so that it's not so easy to guess, changing it periodically, and not reusing the same password on all of your online accounts. And then the third thing would be don't give out your social security number. There's so many IRS phone scams and email phishing scams where people are coming in looking for information. Be very suspicious of that and don't give out your social security number. So the penalty this year for not having health care coverage is $695 per adult and half that for a child. So to put that in perspective, a family of four earning $60,000 a year would be facing a penalty of $2,000 if they didn't have health coverage. Now, there's about two dozen exemptions, and they range from things like financial hardship to death in the family, emergency, things like that. So if you find yourself facing a situation where you don't have coverage and you're facing a, a very stiff penalty, you can go to HR Block, ask the tax professionals there, and they can help you see if you might be eligible for one of those exemptions. While we're almost at the end of the tax, almost end of the, the year, there are a few things that you can still do to reduce your tax bill. So one thing is it pays to save. So contributing money to your retirement account will help. Um, it also pays to give. So donating to charitable organizations or uh, donating household goods. Just remember to get a receipt and hold on to it. And then finally, don't forget about use it or lose it. So if you've got a flexible spending account for some additional medical or um, you know, eye um, and dental expenses, don't forget to use that money up so that you're not forfeiting it. For more information, you can go to hrblock.com path for all the latest news. Thanks for you too.